Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, this is Vinny. I'm back with another Pokemon Diamond and Pearl video. If you enjoyed them, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll start, shall we? This time, we are going to take on the first gym from Orberg City. It is a rock type gym. I'm hoping Chimchar is going to be able to evolve by then because I really want to make sure it's a Monferno because otherwise, um, you know. I'm probably going to lose because I'm going to try to run through it simply with Wukong. And while well, yes, Wukong does have fighting type moves, um, it will not get stabbed and it will be very weak to rock. And while fighting type, I don't think resist rock, it'll at least give stab to my fighting type moves. So that's the hope here. Let's go ahead and take up this Geo dude. Get uh, my boy ever so slightly closer to leveling up. Yeah, if there's any gym trainers, we'll probably get the evolution. I, if I'm, yeah, if I'm doing the math correctly, we'll probably get the evolution. It, by the end of this, like we're definitely getting the evolution by the end of this episode, but I think we're gonna get the evolution right before the gym. I hope. If I'm wrong, I'll be a little bit afraid. Not gonna lie, because I don't remember if this place has uh, trainers or not. Because I don't remember fighting any trainers. My thing is, I know I don't remember fighting any trainers because I think this is a gym where you can kind of skip past the trainers if you have like the right method. So um, again, I'm not exactly sure of that, but I swear on my life, there's a way to skip trainers in this gym if there are if there are in fact trainers. And that would be a certain level thing. And here's the thing. I could be a little bit smart and go catch a fighting type. Because we can catch him a chomp in this route over here. But uh, I don't feel like it. So let's go ahead and take on the Orberry City. Uh, the, Orberg, the Orberg City Gym. The first gym in the game. Blair is not being kind to me. Oh, well, at least the text is readable. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to be... That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leaders use a rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to gym, you don't get to be a gym leader without covering for your weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy, either. That's all the advice I can get. Thanks for listening. Oh. Well... Cool. Also, but yeah, I was right. So what I mean by that is if you go here, here, and here, you can go ahead and already take on the gym leader, but um, I do want the chance to evolve my Chimchar, so I'ma just do this. Because, like, might as well. They put the trainers here for a reason. I, I don't know why they did that. Is it supposed to be, like, a trick? Like, for those of you that are, like, smart asses and think that, oh, I can beat the first gym without having to do trainers. And yeah, it's not that hard, but I'm just saying, like, is it for those people? Uh, cause it, that's, that's a funny fact if it is, so. Let's go ahead and hit him with a power punch. Hopefully Chimchar can get a level off this. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, but maybe power punch into Rock Smash, maybe? Cause it could lower the defense, then I'll have an attack advantage. Oh god, it's rollout. Uh, what's the rollout thing again? Does it double damage? I forgot. Does rollout double in damage the more you use it? Or... Is, does it just get stronger the more you use it? <sighs> I called it. I so called it. I don't know why I didn't switch out. I literally said in the last episode that it's either going to be the first gym or the, um... Or what's it called? It's either going to be the first gym or the gym leading up to it. Or not, sorry, not the first gym. It's either going to be the first gym or somewhere between the fifth and seventh. I was right. I knew it. I don't know why I didn't switch. It was very clear to me that I knew what was going to happen before it did. I should have switched. I really should have. There goes the rock. Yep. Mmm. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am. Th this is why I don't play Nuzlocke, by the way, because I'm smart enough to know when it's gonna kill me, but I'm dumb enough to think that I have a chance. <laughs> that that's what my weakness is. I'm smart enough to know I don't have a. I'm smart enough to know I'm about to die, but I'm dumb enough to think that like there's a chance I'll survive. So, looking on the bright side, Estrella and Nyla and Buff Doof over there get levels. As for uh, Wu Kong, um, I fucked up and completely forgot about the bit that I was trying to keep him alive. You see, part of me wants to restart now so you guys don't end up knowing the fact that I fucked up, but I know at some point I'll eventually like say it in commentary and I'll be like, oh, remember that one time when Wukong died and then I'll think to myself in the bit, oh fuck, it didn't die for you guys because you, it wasn't on screen. Ah, I'm an idiot, I shouldn't have said it, now everyone knows I'm a liar. Yeah, so 
I mean, there, there you go, Wukong died. So now I don't have to like... The good news for me is now I can actually play my normal self and I don't have to just keep Wukong alive all this time. Cause god, that would be like so different from my playstyle of just throw a Pokemon out and then have it fight to the death. Like, that sounds more fucked up than it actually is actually. Like, I mean, yes, making a Pokemon fight to the death is a fucked up thing, but like, uh... Like, what I mean by fight to the death is, um... Fuck, how do I escape this predicament? <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean by fight to the death, like, it's not that I'll use them as mindless, uh, uh, tools of destruction, no, I will, like, give them the respect they deserve, but I mean, like, I will act, I at least call it what it is, fight to the death, like, okay, so hopefully, I can keep Chimchar, Chimchar alive this time. If I can't keep him alive, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed, I will go grind off screen if I have to. Okay, he has two Pokemon, don't be another Geodude, goddamn, it's another Geodude. Okay, I've learned my lesson, rollout does double the damage. I learned that now. I Now I know for sure it does double the damage, so I'm not gonna fuck up again. So first up, we're gonna do Rock Smash. Because Power Punch into a Rock Smash is a better combo. Yeah, Rock Smash into a Power Punch is a Okay, you're just using Tackle. I'm not that afraid of Tackle, right? Yeah, Tackle doesn't do that much. Uh, Power Punch... Actually, what is the power stats on Power Punch compared to Rock Smash? Does Rock Smash do more damage? Because I swear the Rock... Unless the Geodude's a lower level, which it probably is, because I think the Geodude I fought was level 10, and I believe that was a level 8, then, um, I guess it would make sense that I did more damage there. Okay, he should be able to evolve from this. Oh, Onyx. Um, Giant Rock Snake. Ah, oh, oh, okay, nice acrobatics, Wukong. Uh, I don't think you do that as a Malferno, but good job. Um, I'm... A little afraid, because I don't want Wukong to go down twice. Okay, good. Like, again, if this was a Nuzlocke, Wukong would have already gone down. I mean, I would have actually tried to keep him alive as the thing. I definitely would have switched out if it was a Nuzlocke, but I didn't, because I know it's not a Nuzlocke, and I'm dumb enough, again, to know that I have a chance for some reason. I took that chance, and I just, like, but I didn't mean to click that! Don't, please don't use a grab. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh, Scratch somehow killed it. Good job, but how much help did it have for that to work? You know, it doesn't matter. Good job, Wukong. Okay, I leveled up. Good. We are more or less prepared for, like, the gym battle. I'm not exactly prepared, but, like, okay, roll out. Worst case scenario, we can use it on them. Not like it's going to matter, because I'm pretty sure, like, half these things are ground types, and if I remember correctly, uh, ground resist rock, or, like, rock is neutral against ground. Point is, it won't do shit. Okay, we're, we're ready, I hope. Please tell me but Buff Doof has his water gun. If he has water gun at this point, then we're probably fine. If he doesn't, then we're fucked. So, that's my hope. Anyways... Let's let it happen, the beautiful evolution of Wukong. Okay, so, this has happened already. Oh, I never actually noticed how, like, when it does that, it grows bigger for more, but you get to slightly see an outline of the other Pokemon. Here we go, Monferno. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. I, I want to say it's, like, the my least favorite of the line, just because, like, Chimchar's so cute, and then Infernape's so cool in my mind, but Monferno definitely learns my favorite move in this game, or one of my favorite moves. Playful Pokemon Fire and Fighting to intimidate attackers. It expands the fire on its tail to make itself appear bigger. Oh, so, like, what you're supposed to do with bears. And Mock Punch. Mock Punch is, by hands down, one of my favorite moves. I don't know why it is. It just is. So I'm gonna keep the other ones because Stab and because Scratch somehow killing that Onyx was pure chance, and Mock Punch is a priority move. It goes first. So, even if it's not the strongest fighting type move, it gets priority. So, it's good in my opinion. Okay, potion. Just in case, you know, I'm a little paranoid now that, like, Rollout was able to do me in. Again, I could be smart and go catch him a chomp real quickly, but, like, where's the fun in that? Welcome! This is the Ouroberg Pokemon Gym. I am Rourke, the gym leader. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Okay, we have Rourke. I really imagine we see the burst side, but I really like how that pulls up. It's got a cool stance, we got a cool animation for it. Hey, that's a good stance, Geodude. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. I wonder if I can beat the Geodude with Wukong. I, I'm pretty sure I can, especially now that he's evolved. He definitely has Stab now, so his moves will do more damage. And he's a higher level, but that's also a higher level. Okay, now that I have the chance. Oh, great, so all of them have a base down of 40. So in that case, let's go Power Up Punch, because Monferno's probably going to stay alive the longest, because if you don't remember what we saw earlier, everyone had... Everyone was... Oh, critical hit. That's cool. Nice job, Monferno. So anyway, or Wukong. I gotta remember his nickname. So, oh, fuck, Stealth Rock. So we're definitely not switching now, because the reason we weren't going to switch from before is because unless Badoof has... Um, Water gun, which I don't think it does now I think about it, because otherwise I would have switched into it. Um, no, none of our Pokemon has something super effective. All of them have, like, neutral effective. 
or not neutral, uh, non-superventive. And that's something I like about this gym. It's, like, in my opinion, the hardest gym to go into, like, when you think about it. It's not, like, it's the easiest gym to beat because, you know, again, it's, like, the first gym. But, like, it's the hardest gym in theory because it's a gym when you walk into it. The only Pokemon you probably have up to this point, if you don't pick the grass or water starter, is a bunch of Pokemon that have moves that aren't super effective against it. I mean, if you just run around with the starter, you're probably fine, but especially if you get Chimchar to this point. But, um... Yeah, you typically have, you would technically have the disadvantage simply because uh, you're walking into this with a bunch of Pokemon that don't have effective hits. So, that's like technically the difficulty. God damn, good job, Wook. Wukong would have one shot him? Wukong! MVP! 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 Uh, so, oh fuck, I forgot to show off, um, Mach Punch. Oh wait, no, I did it because I know he has one more Pokemon, right? I know he has one more Pokemon. Show it. I know you have it, because I I remember the Pokemon he has last is one of my favorite rock types ever. Yes! Let's go, Kratos. Think you could take down the next Pokemon like you did the others? Okay, so I remember Kratos was one of my favorite rock types ever, but it was only in my favorite fossil ever, but it's only because of that guy right there. I don't know why, but when I watched him in the anime, he made the things look so cool to me, I should have used Mach Punch in hindsight. Yep, and that was my chance to show off Mach Punch, didn't do it. So, you know, Monferno is relatively fast in this game, or at least now he's fast. I don't know if he's going to be faster later, but, uh, like, he's definitely our fastest Pokemon by far. But, um, the thing is, though, once we get to, like, the later stages where maybe Monferno is getting outsped by a lot of things, like, to my memory, the only ever time I got outsped was starting at, like, the seventh gym. I forgot what Pokemon did it, but, like, at the seventh gym, that's where I started getting outsped at with, uh, Infernape, to the point where, like, I actually had to use Mach Punch to kill someone, but, like, ah, we won, doesn't matter. What? That can't be! My buffed up Pokemon! We got a thousand book dollars for winning. Hell yeah. I bought absolutely nothing with that. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single gym badge. You're the first gym. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course I won't have a gym badge. Bust the story, you were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you beat me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. Oh, we got to see all the gym leaders there. I'll, I'll go check that out in a minute. Uh, but we got the coal badge from Rourke, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, Rourke. You are not a challenge. I mean, that coal badge means now you can use hit and move Rock Smash from your Pokétech. You can also take these, too. Anyone else find it funny that Rourke was easier to beat than the um, trainer that was before him? Uh, each uh, TM contains Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch into battle. Yeah, that's the other reason why we want to switch Stealth Rock would deal as damage. And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. Oh yeah, I forgot, you get stickers for beating these guys now. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break once you use it, so that move, so to be, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. So, in this region of Shinnoh, there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. Okay, fair, so, we actually beat him. Like I said, like, he's not hard, but I do prove a valid point when I say, like, by advantages, he technically is the hardest to gain one on because you don't have an advantage against him. So let's flip to the back, see what we got, coolness, okay, all these cool things. Fossil digging sounds that's even interesting. But let's go ahead and see the view badges. Ah, oh, no, I wanted to, no, okay, so if we see right there at the bottom, we can see all the gym leaders, which is something in normal games you can't do until you get their gym badges. So at least we get a cool outline of what they look like. Um, but yeah, that pretty much handled the gym leaders. All right, I, there's one more thing I want to test out. Let, let, let me go back in there real quickly. I wanted to show this off. So. I don't remember if this was in other Pokemon games. I know it's in the most a lot a lot of Pokemon games, but if, once you beat a gym leader, it's a certified trainers, you're most likely your rival, because your rival probably beat it first, and you. It won't always say your rival, because sometimes you beat it before your rival. I can definitely think of times in um, Sword and Shield where technically it would have been you because your rival finished it after you. So I could definitely see that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get our Pokemon healed up. Honestly, that was actually pretty cool. I am a little disappointed I let uh Mukong go down there. I definitely should have swapped out. I don't know why my mind thought that I could probably handle it. I, that was a dumb idea of me, especially when I actually said out loud that uh, if Rollout does double damage, wouldn't that kill me? Because I looked at my health, and I don't know why I didn't just listen to that theory. So, we can do some town exploring, the coal mine and you. I don't feel like doing some town exploring, because even though I'm a Let's Player, we all know I don't like doing that stuff. But what we can do is talk to this guy. Slope's too slippery, and there's a bike. You have to get to a tornado city to get a bike. However, if we go back here, we'll get a Pokeball. 
some nice uh, things over there. I'll explain what those are later. But let's see if we can find a Machamp on the Machamp on the first try. Or I can find a Geodude to mercilessly murder with a Wukong. Well, you know what? I forgot to show off Mach Punch in the gym. Might as well show it off here. Mach Punch, a priority move. You just do that. <clears throat> wow, he survived. That's why it's sturdy. God damn it. It's always sturdy. I didn't know that freaking Wukong would actually like kill it though with Rock Smash. I knew I got like two Power Punch bonuses, but I guess that's what it is. Like Power Punch is enough with just two bonuses to take out anything. I mean, I guess now it comes down to me thinking like, I don't know why, but like just saying that made me think of again, like who I'm gonna run on my final team. And I'm trying to think of like all the Pokemon I remember from this game and all the Pokemon I ran in previous playthroughs, or previous playthrough. Okay, I'm not gonna find him a champ. I like Machop. I'm not gonna even bother trying. So, to my memory, like obviously I'm gonna stick with Infernape. I'm gonna probably stick with Astrala just because like now the name is growing on me. Can I kill it in one hit? Let's go. Doesn't have sturdy. I'm I'm only gonna keep the rock along until um either it evolves for the Pokedex or which I hate doing, or until I um find something to replace it with. Because the thing is I don't like Geodude. I don't like Graveler. I like Golem, but I have no one to trade with, and Golem evolves by trading, so um I, there's like no point to keep it at this rate, so I really don't know what to do. Let's go ahead. Uh, we have plenty of fuel balls. Let's get some 10 net balls because why the hell not? Oh, that spends all of my money. I should have done the math on that before I did that. I thought that was a hundred poke dollars. Or no, I did think it was a 10,000, but I for some reason thought I had more money than I did. Uh, let's explore one or two towns or like areas just because I can and I will. Listen, have you heard of a Pokemon called Machamp? Oh, she's willing to give us an Abra. Why are you giving me an Ab- Okay, for those of you who know, Abra, or for those of you who don't know actually, Abra evolves into Kadabra, and Kadabra evolves into Alakazam via trading. But that doesn't matter if it's a fucking Abra when you trade it. Why? Boy, that's douche. Why would I give you my freaking Machamp for something? It doesn't even like, why trade it then? Because both of those Pokemon at their second stage, Machoke and Kadabra respectively, evolve into their final forms when you trade them. What is the point of trading it now? I, I, I don't understand it. Oh yeah, because we beat the first gym, now we can use Rock Smash and destroy rocks, but um, that's not going to come in to helpful yet. Oh, guy talks about the eight gym leaders. Work lets us train in the mines. Oh, so that's how they get as good as they are. They just go into the mines. Cool. Hey, that's a... That picture in the side, why does that look so familiar? Is that like that famous picture, like the, uh, I know it's not oil paints, but like, like the, like the picture with like the night sky? No, cause that's different. Why I remember this, I don't know. Like, when I was younger, uh, when I was, or when I was in like elementary school, I used to be forced to take art classes because you know, there's always those classes in elementary school you're forced to take. Art classes, like, I was never good at art. I can think of, like, a lot of cool-looking things, but I can never draw them. But, okay, well, fine, because we're going to Barry. Thud! Is every interaction with you just gonna be a thud? Whoops, Ezel, you got the badge, Tom? Uh, Eternia City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through without a bike. Where were you at Route 207? I didn't see you. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm gonna go back to Jubilee City. Next stop, the Eternia City Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash, nine, wow, who's got time to count? You know, any of us really? I mean, the video is only at 18 minutes. We have time to count. So, Eternia City, for those of you who want to see it, is not this way. That is from our town. We have to go that way to this fuck this way to Eternia City. And as you saw, if we went to the side where Route 207 was, we could be across from Eternia City. Except to do that, um, you know, things have to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the move with our Rock Smash with the Doof over here. Wait, when the fuck did Bidoof learn Rock Smash? When did I teach- Oh, that's the hidden move! Oh! I'm a fucking idiot! Wait, yeah, no, because... Yeah, the hidden move po the Pokemon that represents the hidden move is Bidoof. Ah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am such an idiot. I thought... I thought for damn sure it was, uh, just gonna be Rock Smash. Okay, well, I'm dumb. So, anyways, that aside of my own stupidity, wait, wait, 
Can I catch a Lucario on this route? Wait. Now I'm having an epiphany. Can I catch a Riolu here? I know Riolu's in this game. If I can get a Riolu here, that decides my team. I'm looking it up right now. Can I catch a Riolu in this route? Give me a second. What route are we in? What route are we in? Uh, let's quickly check. Route 218, apparently, is where we can catch Riolu. Uh, what route are we on? 203, is it this way? Uh, I... Wait, it said on the left of Jubal. Sidetrack time. I, I know where I'm supposed to go. I know. And I know I'm already gonna have a fighting type, but I want a fucking Lucario. Can I go this way? Is it gonna stop me? It doesn't. Please be grass. Please be grass. Please have grass. Please have grass. Fuck. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, I'm not catching a Riolu for a while. All I'm gonna say is this. We have about four more gyms to go before I can catch a Riolu, so... Fuck. That, that's so not fair. I really wanted a Riolu, too. Ah, uh, I guess it's for the best. Rolls my eyes. <clears throat> hey, oh, hey, Rowan. Ah, Izzel, impeccable timing, as always. These miscreants are babbling out of nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly, you strictly as a businessman. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. That sounds like a threat. Izzel, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. On it. Okay, wait, so... Businessmen. Okay, so I didn't know the term businessman meant walk up to someone in the middle of the street and say, listen, bitch, give me your goddamn briefcase or your friend over here goes bye-bye. Your friend over here goes sleeping with the fishes, etc. Okay, well, oh, God, this these guys. Okay, so we're pulling Zubat, so. So Dawn's using her turf wig. You know the funny thing is? I don't recall a single time you ever fight Dawn. Now that I think about it, I don't recall a time that you fight Dawn. Does Dawn never fight you? Does she just become that person that just like travels alongside you but you never get to see? Like, okay, that actually lets me bring up something. So from Pokemon X and Y, the reason why Pokemon X and Y was one of my favorite games besides just like the starter is because you had so many rivals. Like you had Trevor, the glasses kid, you had, uh, I. I want to say his name was Caleb. I know it wasn't, but if his name was Caleb, I'd be so funny. Like, the, you know, the fat guy <laughs> is what we can call him. Um, I and Like, he was your rival. There was Shauna, and then there was Serena. Like, they were all your rivals. You leave us no choice. We will retreat. Uh, uh, because Team Galactic is benevolent to us all. We shall leave. And there they go. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Oh, well, they couldn't fucking handle my evolution, clearly, because, uh, Frenip over there, I mean, uh, fuck Wukong over there, just kill people. Anyway, Ezzel, uh, anyway, Ezzel, well done. You battled quite capably. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. Ezzel, well, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So, Ezzel, let's keep working on our po uh, Pokedex project for the professor. I don't know why, but I feel like they only said that because I happen to have a Pokemon evolution on my side. I don't know why. Whoa! Was that, what was that just now? That's amazing! Those guys looked awfully scared, but you sure showed them. Phew, that was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name is Ben. Beeb, whatever. And I work as a system administrator in Heart Heart Throne City east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules too. Cool. So now we can decorate uh, things with ball menus. Cool. You can customize your own capsule decoration by uh, placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's balls capsules, and it'll make it look pretty neat when it first opens. Stickers will also give you an edge in the super contest shows where I live in Heart Throne City. So try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a mechanic. We can actually put stickers on our Pokeballs and they will give cool, unique designs. Like, 
how do I get to the... Um... Doesn't matter. Like, I'm trying to fuck... Uh, oh wait, okay, yeah, so let's do this one first. So, place sticker. Uh, do we have a fire one? That, uh... Uh... Let's do this. And I forgot how to do this, so... Like, what, three of those, and then we'll do... Give me a second. I'm trying to remember how to do this shit. Um, fuck. I fucked up, didn't I? Wait, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Continue, continue. Like, quick. Sorry, this is gonna be a second. I need to remember how to do this, because I just remembered how to do this, so... Or I remembered it was a thing just a few minutes ago. Okay, do that, and then, um... That should be... Oh, yeah, we got the stone stickers. So that should be cool. Uh, you know what? Might as well give it... Oh, we got fire, too. So let's give the... Good old fire charm to our boy, and that should be good, hopefully. And we'll also, wait, no, I don't want to play stickers. I want to stop the Pokemon, and we'll give it to Wukong. How that will look, I have no idea, but hopefully it looks good at least. So, wait, no, I want to undo that. I, I want to go here, and then I want to save, because I'm actually going to end it here. So in the next one, we will... I'll also continue my topic in the next one. Uh, in the next one, we will end up going to Eternity Day City, or trying to make our way to probably the town before that was, like, the Flower Days town or something. And we'll also get to show up the new ball I mentioned. So I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, and follow the Twitch, and don't forget to check us out. <laughs>